Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the third problem of Litford Weekly Contest 445, which is smallest palindromic rearrangement 2. So, uh, what is the problem? Uh, we have to uh, we are given a palindromic string S and an integer k. We have to return k flexibly smallest palindromic permutation of S. Okay. Now let's take one example A B B A. Okay. Let's take this example A B B A. This is a palindrome, and if we try to find all the possible palindromic form permutation of this string. First, uh, the minimum palindrome permutation is given A B B A. The next possible palindrome permutation will be B A A B. There are only two possible palindrome permutations. So, for k equals to 2, answer will be B A A B. Now, let's take B A C A B. Let's say we take, we have take, we are taking B A C A B. The first palindrome permutation will be A B C A uh, B A. The next possible palindrome permutation will be B A C A B. Only two possible uh, two palindrome permutations possible here. So for if k equals to one, then answer will be A B C B A. Now let's come to the important part. What are the constants and how we are going to solve this? The constants on s dot length is 10 to the power 4. Okay, constants on s dot length is 10 to the power 4. So overall time complexity will be uh, like n is 10 to the power 4, right? So overall time complexity will be order of n or order of 26 into n or order of 26 square into n, kind of that. 26 n or order of 26 square into n. Okay, so now let's discuss some observations. Okay, observations. So if we try to uh, make the minimum string, if k equals to 1, we try to make a string. Then what we will do? We will try to take the minimum character available to us, minimum character available to us, which is a. Then we will add a at the start and the, at the end if there are two a's. Okay, first observation that if we try to find the minimum uh, possible pal uh, palindrome, then we will take the minimum uh, character we have and we uh, will add a at the start and a at the bottom. This is the first observation. The second observation here is that if the, the palindrome is an odd link palindrome, odd link palindrome, then there will be only one character which is odd frequency. There will be only one character which is odd frequency. So that will be the min middle character. That will be the middle character. So we can ignore that. Okay. So this is the second uh, observation that if the length of the string is odd, then there will be only one character with odd frequency and uh, we will put that character in the middle. And the third observation he here is that, uh, that we will only be creating the first half of the string. We will be only creating the first half of the string. Let's say we have something like ABBA. So, we will be trying to creating, uh, we will be creating the first part, AB. We will be creating AB. Now, if, if we have ABCBA, then also we will be creating the first part, AB. We will, we will not be creating ABC because I have already told in the second observation that C will be fixed. So, uh, that is the three observations. Okay. Now, how we are going to solve it for a different value of k? We have already explained how we are going to solve it for k equals to 1. And that is the first problem, the part uh, part 1 problem of this, which is the second problem of the context. But how we are going to solve this for uh, a specific value of k? Okay. Now, let us say, we have fixed the first character. Okay. We have fixed the first character a. Okay. Now, we have, let us say, a, b, b, c. Uh, sorry. Let us say, we have something like a b c c sorry a b c b uh, b so, so, let me write it a b c b b c b a yes, so we have something like this now we have already fixed the first character a we have already fixed the first character a we are trying to build a b c b right we have already fixed the first character b a then what are the other possible the number of uh, palindromic permutations such that the first character is a that is we will try to uh, this uh, we will try to find all the permutations of bcb so all the permutations of bcb is nothing but the length of the bcb 3 factorial into by 2 factorial into 1 factorial i hope you know that that we let's say we have uh, n values and uh, in the groups we have r1 r2 such that like rk then the total permutations will be these are the groups of same elements r1 r2 rk the overall permutation will be n factorial into product of R i, R, let's say R j factorial, where j is starting from 1 to k, j is from 1 to k. So, this is the uh, formula for finding uh, all the possible permutation in same elements are present in groups, okay. I hope you get it. Now, we will check if we put the first character a and the number of possible permutations are uh, greater than equals to k, greater than equals to k, then 
we can say that we can take a as the first character we can take a as the first character now if the number of possible permutations are less than k then we can't really take a as the first character so we will try to take b as the second character b as the first character and we'll try to uh, we'll remove all the uh, possible count of uh, uh, palindromic string starting with a okay i'll uh, now go to the code and i'll explain how i am doing that and i will also explain the optimizations i have done the proper in the problem okay now here comes the code okay now uh, this part is for this count is for counting this is not needed this part is for counting uh, for a given frequency the we will give the all the frequency value of 26 and we will try to find the possible permutations right in factorial by product of rg factorial so uh, we are taking the total and up at the end we are seeing that we are dividing it by 2 why because let's say we are only building the first part right first half we are only building that's why we are taking frequency i by 2 so we are initially taking the factorial of the total number of uh, characters in there and we are take, uh, taking dividing it by inverse mean is nothing but 1 by factorial okay uh, that's how we do it uh, i have uh, explained this part okay count i have explained now we are calculating fais i into fa of i minus 1 and inverse i will be 1 by factorial of i so you know that uh, so 1 by n is nothing but 1 by 1 by n percent m is nothing but n to the power m minus 2 modulo m if m is a prime okay n to the power m minus 2 modulo m so we have taken mod as 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so this is a prime uh, or we can take 1 in 9 plus 7 also so uh, this will be n to the power m minus 2 modulo m i hope you get now we have calculated uh, the factorial and inverse factorial okay now we are uh, updating the frequency map okay now for uh, we are trying to build the first half so we are iterating over every character from i equals to 0 to i less than n by 2 and we are trying to add the uh, from character a to character z now we are checking that uh, this part i will explain okay this part i will explain now let's assume that we, uh, the count will be uh, the uh, counts if we pass the frequency vector then it will give us the count of permutation starting with the current character okay so if the count is greater than equals to k if the count is greater than equals to k then we are adding that character to our answer otherwise we are uh, subtracting okay uh, we are subtracting the value of count from k and we initially we are de decreasing the value of the frequency by 2 right because we are taking a and a so we are decreasing the value of frequency by 2 now if we don't uh, add the character to our string we will again uh, backtrack and we will add frequency j by 2 we will increment the frequency j by 2 so initially we are decrementing the value of 2 and if we don't take the character we are incre increasing the value of frequency j by 2 now uh, at the end uh, if the size is less than n by 2 this is the h case if the size is less than n by 2 and it, it is not possible to take a particular index then we will just return an empty string okay and uh, uh, otherwise um, our re uh, take the re uh, answer is reverse okay answer okay so we have built uh, let's say we have built our character is abcba okay and we have built the ab part okay ab part now uh, we have to add ba in ba at the end of the string but before that we will check that which character is present odd number of times we will add that the string into the string and we will reverse a b and add that at the end okay that's what i am doing here so uh, reverse is answer we are reversing the string now if the frequency is odd we are doing answer plus equals to character of i plus a and we are adding the reverse string at the end okay now i have explained the entire thing right explain the entire thing but this part is important for this problem okay because let's say for a particular value of uh, frequency in factorial divided by r1 factorial into r2 factorial this could exceed the value of our mod our mod value is 1 in 9 plus 7 okay so it is possible that this value the count is exceeding the our mod in that case we can we can get wrong values right we can get wrong values let's say our uh, possible value is let's say uh, 1 in 9 plus 8 now if we mod it by our module 1 in 9 plus 7 then our resultant value will be 1 then we will check that 1 is less than equals to k but that is not right right 
that is not right. One in nine plus eight, and if you take it by uh, mod modulo it by mod, or one in nine plus seven, we get one. But we can't say that one is less than equals to k. So that's why I have uh, used uh, a logarithmic uh, factorial also. Okay, logarithmic factorial also. Okay, so what is the logarithmic factorial? So in factorial, if we take the uh, logarithmic log log of in factorial. Okay, log of in factorial. In that case. Uh, it is nothing but log of one plus log of two like that. Okay, log of one plus log of two like that till log of n. I hope you get. Now, uh, if we take inverse of something, inverse of n factorial, the log of the entire thing, it is nothing but the negative value of this, right? If we take inverse of this, then we are just subtracting the value minus log one minus log two like that. So that's why you, you can see here that uh, whenever I am counting log, uh, I am. The entire count and count log is same, but uh, log is nothing but we are adding a log i minus one plus log i instead of multiplying. In that case, log log of a into b is nothing but log a plus log b. That's why we are adding log i to our answer. And if frequency i by two is greater than zero, then we are subtracting the value of uh, frequency i by two. Okay, frequency i by two because inverse is nothing but the negative value of that. Okay, I hope you get it now. If we do log also, so you are saying that why we are doing count and count log both? Okay, because I have faced W here because if we use some kind of double values, then we can kind of face the precision issues. Okay, in that case, let's say k is like one, uh, one is sixteen minus sixteen plus three, and uh, our um, one sorry, one a minus sixteen plus Like point zero 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 one zero one, and let's say our uh, count is like point zero 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 and one zero two. In that case, this is because of pre precision issue. Nothing like uh, nothing else. Okay, so in that case, uh, our answer was coming wrong. So I have take uh, check that is the difference difference between k and the log count log k and the log count. If it is less than equals to one in minus ten, then we will not trust this value. Okay. Will not trust this value, so we'll take the count and we'll check count a greater than equals to k. And if the difference is one a minus ten less than equals to one a minus ten, then uh, we are, it is guaranteed that the count a value will not exceed our mod. Count a value is, will not exceed our mod. Okay, I hope you get it. Ah, uh, this part is uh, very interesting. Like we are uh, dealing with log also, and uh, we can't really rely on log. Also, we, so we, uh, if the Difference is less than some threshold. We are checking uh, the original count value also. Okay, so uh, I think I have seen uh, one solution which does not involve log uh, that uses some other approach like to terminate the this count factor count value instead of factorial. Uh, it just termin terminates the value uh, at a particular level. Okay, I have not uh, gone through the solution entirely. But I will try to attach the link of the solution in the description box. You can check that out too. But my solution will also work. Uh, if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation or uh, code, you can always ask me in the comment section. I will attach the code link in the description box. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also share among your peers. Thank you.